Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to Create 8. Today I am going to create 8 cards using uh, stamps and dies from the latest release by my favorite things. So I'm going to start with this stamp set and this is called Modern Trees and I'm going to stamp 3 of those tree trunks with Versa marking on top of this craft paper. And now I'm going to apply dark brown embossing powder. This embossing powder I'm using is by Nuvo, by the way. I'm going to apply some heat with my heat gun. And then I used the, the matching dies to cut out all three of those trees. Now, I did that before stamping the leaves, just because I wanted to make sure that the leaves are going to match perfectly inside the cutout. So I'm just going to pop them out and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp again the matching leaves on each one of those trees with Versa marking and then I'm going to apply different colors of embossing powder. Now for this card design you can totally go monochromatic, but just because I wanted to have that full look on my card, I decided to combine two different colors of embossing powder on each tree. So I used uh, this green one and these uh, embossing powders I'm using now are by WOW, by the way. You will find links down below on all the colors that I used. And um, I have combined two different colors. And I actually looked through my stash for embossing powders that would be perfect for a full themed card. So for each one of those trees I am going to combine green for the leaves along with a second color and you can see the colors on your screen. So this is the first tree, I am going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the rest of the trees. And now if you wish so, you can go ahead and uh, stick those trees directly on top of your card and add the sentiment below. This is going to be a very elegant and simple card, but I decided to help those trees pop against the background a little bit more. So I'm going to use one of those rectangle dies and these were also released by my favorite things for the month of September. I have cut out this uh, panel out of uh, brown cardstock and then I'm going to stick uh, my leaves on top. I'm going to add some foam squares at the back just to add a little bit of dimension that I all so much love. Before sticking the trees down I needed to make sure that I had enough space for my sentiment. I die cut uh, out of uh, gold cardstock the word blessing. I placed it at the bottom just to have a rough idea of where the sentiment is going to be so that I can go ahead and stick the trees. I'm going to use my white glue at the back of my ward and then stick it underneath the trees. I have also added a dot of glue at the bottom of each tree trunk so they don't stick out and my card is finished. Now I'm going to create a very modern looking card and uh, I'm going to use this uh, pop-up alphabet and I'm not going to cut out all those letters. Of course you can cut them out and create the words that you like. I'm going to cut out the alphabet as it is and you will see that when I take it out. The letters don't separate and they don't fall apart. There is a little hinge at the bottom of each letter that holds it in place. Now I'm not going to pop them out for, for now since I want to run them through my die cutting machine again. I'm going to try and find one of those rectangle dies that fit perfectly all around this uh, piece and then I'm going to run it again through my Sizzix. Now for the design that I am going for, I made sure that I didn't lose all the little pieces that are uh, missing at the moment from the inside of all the letters, since I am going to stick them back. And all I did is uh, to take my craft knife and just cut out all the way through that uh, hinge at the bottom, so that I separated only three letters, and that's the J, the O and the Y, so I end up having the word joy. And this is going to be a very modern looking Christmas card. And when I place it on top of my red card base, you can see how you can totally read the word joy. Now, I have replaced, of course, all the little pieces inside all the rest of the letters. And now I'm uh, uh, noting with a pencil where those three letters are going to fall on top of my card base. And this is where I am going to stick some double sided uh, tape. So I will be able to peel off the backing and then I'm going to apply some uh, glitter, red glitter, since this is going to be a Christmas card. The glitter is uh, by Nouveau and it's going to stick only where the double sided uh, tape is. I'm going to use a stiff brush to make sure that I remove all the excess glitter from my card base. I used white glue at the back of my panel and now I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. I also made sure that I didn't apply glue at the back of all those uh, letters. 
so that I am able to pop them up and add some dimension and little uh, interest on top of my card. Of course, you can embellish your card even more, but I wanted to keep this uh, simple and uh, very modern looking. And now let's move on to the third card and I'm going to use this beautiful flower stamp set and I'm going to start stamping leaves and flowers. I am using uh, my favorite things ink and uh, my Misty just to make sure that uh, I get a nice impression since these are solid stamps and I like to double stamp them just to get the perfect impression. And I have also picked three of uh, the flowers included in the stamp set and I am going to go ahead and start stamping all of them using different colors of ink. And then for the centers of the flowers I decided not to use my Misty as I found it easier for me to just go ahead and stamp uh, the centers directly with a stamping block. And now I will go ahead and use the matching dies and run this piece of paper with the dies uh, through my Big Shot machine. And I have everything uh, cut out, so all I need to do is to prepare my background. Now I have this uh, piece of white uh, cardstock and I am just uh, adding a little bit of ink at the background so that it's not completely white. And as you can see I'm using my Nouveau brushes just because I want to use my Distress Oxide inks, but I don't want to have a, a very saturated color. I'm also adding some water splashes here. I'm going to blot them with a cloth. Now I am using some black gesso and of course you can use black acrylic paint for that. I'm going to dilute it with water and I'm going to apply some black splashes uh, on my card base. And I'm doing that just because I know that I will be using uh, black for my sentiment and I want to bring everything together. For my sentiment I have cut out the word smile from the double the smile uh, die set and I'm just trying to decide where everything is going to go. And now I will go ahead and start gluing everything down. I'm adding uh, a dot of uh, white glue at uh, the back of the flowers, but only at the center. So that allows me to be able to tuck in more images underneath. And I'm going to tuck in the, the leaves as well underneath the flowers. And finally, I'm going to stick down my word. Again, I'm using my white glue. And I find that I use my Deluxe Nouveau Glue more and more and that's just because I find that it's uh, really easy to use with that uh, fine tip uh, applicator and it never clogs so I'm really happy with it. Now I will uh, complete my card by stamping on this uh, black cardstock one more sentiment from the same uh, stamp set as the word smile and uh, I decided to go with the one that says happiness is contagious. I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking, apply some white embossing powder, heat set it with my heat gun and then I'm going to cut it out with one of uh, the dies that have been uh, just released and um, they give you this uh, beautiful shape which is perfect for placing it underneath my word smile. And finally I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base. For the next card I'm stamping uh, the little girl and uh, this month she is adorable just like every month she is eating an apple. I am stamping her with Versa marking on a watercolor paper because I am planning to use my Zig clean color markers to color everything and that makes sure that it's not going to smudge or smear. I'm also going to stamp a couple of apples here just because I want to show you something. And I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. You will see that I'm coloring everything very loosely and I am diluting uh, the color with my water brush. I don't want to have uh, my image very colored saturated. So you see that I'm lightly applying color and just spreading it out with my watercolor brush. And since I don't want to have any harsh shadows on uh, her face, I'm just applying a little bit of uh, darker color on uh, the side of my paper. I'm just picking up a little bit of that uh, color with my brush and doing my shadows. So you see the shadows are really subtle. Now I'm going to show you how I am going to color the basket. I'm just applying a little bit of uh, that color on one side and then loosely I'm going to uh, move the color 
And remember when you are coloring with uh, watercolors, it's nice to leave some areas white. It helps really with the lighting. Now I'm going to show you something weird that happens with my red uh, zig marker. So when I am trying to spread out the color, it turns uh, pink and it actually looks neon pink. So just because in the set that I have, I don't have another uh, uh, red that would work for me. I am using the Nouveau red watercolor brush which doesn't do that so I'm going to spread that out with my brush and if you have uh, different brands of the same medium it's always nice to mix and match them just make them work together I have colored and cut out with the matching dies my image and now I'm going to create a little background for her so at the bottom of this uh, watercolor piece I'm applying uh, some green ink and that's distress ink by the way and I used a post-it tape that helped me separate the grass from the sky. Now I have added some foam squares at the back of my little girl there and I have placed her on top of this uh, watercolor piece. And I'm going to complete my background by adding this white fence. This uh, white fence is a cutout from a die that has been just released by my favorite things. And um, if you like to create your own little scenes on uh, your cards, then I think this is a perfect accessory. Now I'm going to cut off the excess. For the sentiment, I went with I pick you and I stamp that on this speech bubble that I have cut out with one of the speech bubbles that have been released for uh, this month. Now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and I'm just going to secure that at the top as if the little girl says that. And this is going to finish off my card. Of course, you can embellish it a little bit more by adding a cloud or a little animal friend. That's up to you. Now for the next card, I have cut out those tags using uh, one of those uh, three dies and uh, these were released in a previous month. Now I'm going to use my favorite uh, stamp set from this release which is full of those little bears and each one of them is doing something different. So I picked three of them that would work great for Christmas and uh, you will see them here. One of them is holding a little gift which would work for birthdays as well and this one is uh, wearing a scarf and the last one is wearing a Santa hat so I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir markers and I'm going to color them really quickly and simply I'm just adding a little bit of shading on one side of the polar bear and that's pale grey I'm also going to use um, green and red just to give that uh, Christmas feeling I used the matching dies to cut them out and now I'm going to stick each one of those bears on a different tag. I think they are sized perfectly for these little tags and these are going to be little ornaments hanging on the front of my card. For the sentiment I'm going with uh, Merry Christmas and that's from the same stamp set. I'm stamping that on uh, the bottom of my card base with Versa marking and I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and heat set it. So I have the sentiment ready to go and then I can go ahead and stick all those tags on top of my card base and I'm adding some foam squares at the back to add that dimension that I always like to have on my cards. To finish off my card I'm going to add some uh, red and white baker's twine. I'm going to thread it through that uh, little uh, slit on top of each tag and then I'm going to secure it at the back. This way I am turning those tags into little ornaments hanging on top of my card. And of course you can make your life easier if you thread the string before you stick down the tags. I added some foam tape at the back and now I'm sticking that on top of a white card base. And my card is super adorable. For the next stamp I am using the Animal Farm stamp set. I am stamping a few of those images. My focal point is going to be the cow but I'm going to give her a few friends as well as a little tree so that I can create a little scene that I so love creating on top of my cards. Now I'm stamping everything with memento ink because I'm going to use my uh, alcohol markers to color everything. I actually used my spectrum noirs and then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out everything. Now I have all the little uh, elements ready to go on top of my card and I'm creating the sky here just inking a piece of white cardstock with Distress Oxide ink. This is just a piece of cardstock in uh, green which is going to be the grass for my little valley there. I'm going to place it at the bottom and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. So for my little scene again I'm going to use the white fence which I so love and then I'm going to start sticking everything here. 
And at this stage, I know that I want to add all those little elements that I have already colored, but I'm not sure where everything should go, so I do play around a little bit before I commit with glue. And this would be a really fun stamp set if you stamp all the animals, cut them out and don't color them. Just create a basic uh, scene like uh, the sky and the grass and a couple of trees and send it out as it is. So the little uh, friend of yours can play around, can color the animals and place them anywhere they like. Now for the sentiment, I stamp that on white cardstock and I am going to cut it out with one of the ties released this month and I think that sentiment is really hilarious. Just stick this panel on top of a card base and it's uh, definitely going to bring a smile on the recipient. And now let's move on to a totally different style of card. I am going to use the Grateful Tamp Set and I am going to stamp the word Grateful at the center of this craft panel. I am stamping it with Versa marking and I'm going to apply gold embossing powder. So I will end up with a nice sparkling bold sentiment. Now I picked three fall colors and I'm going to stamp the branch on two corners. And unfortunately my camera wasn't on while I was doing that, but all I did was just stamp the branch three times, each one with, with the different color that I had. Now I'm using uh, Distress Oxiding and I'm going to work on the edges of my card base just to darken them up a bit. I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and I'm going to finish off the card by adding some uh, dots with my Nouveau Drops. And I used metallic green for that as well as gold. I tried to match the colors on my card. For my last card I'm going to work with the Rustic Wildflowers stamp set and this is actually a layering stamp set. I, I have already picked uh, two shades of each color that I want to work with, a darker and a lighter one, but uh, you need to remember that in this uh, stamp set there are actually three different layers that you can stamp one on top of the other in most of the images. But in any case I'm just going to use two so that you can see that uh, it works either way. I stamp first the leaves and now I will go ahead and start uh, choosing a few of those flowers to stamp them. And as you can see I have stamped one layer and now this is the second layer. And hopefully you can see how easy they are to layer since I am not even using a misty. Now I have used the matching ties to cut out everything and I played a little bit on top of my crafting table just to decide how the co flower composition is going to go. And here is my panel ready to go. Now I'm going to add the sentiment. For that I have cut out of uh, black cardstock the word smile. And that's again from the double the smile die set. I'm adding some glue at the back and I'm going to make sure that I stick first the first letter and then the last letter so that I can spread them evenly and uh, they take up all the space at the bottom of my panel. And I'm going to finish off my sentiment by stamping I love your, which comes from the All the Smiles uh, stamp set. Now I'm going to stick that on top of a yellow card base, which is going to bring out the yellow flowers even more. I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to finish it off by some white Nouveau drops at the center of my flowers. And I also I'm going to add some uh, yellow Nouveau drops in different areas. And these were all the cards for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those eight cards was your favorite. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>